Good morning students. In today's class, I'll be talking about an important named reaction for carbonyl compounds, which is known as the Cani-Zeros reaction. This reaction has got certain important set of conditions. Firstly, it is only applicable for aldehydes. Now, which type of aldehydes? And before I go to that, I hope you are aware an aldehyde is a group which has a C double bond O and an H. The other side, it could have an H, it could have an R group also. Now, an aldehyde group, we don't want it to have an alpha hydrogen. That is, it should have no alpha hydrogens. Now, what are alpha hydrogens? Supposing I have an aldehydic group like this. Then, the adjacent carbon should not have any hydrogen attached to it, which means it could have R groups. This could be one category. The other category could be I have an aldehyde group and then I have a benzene ring, which means I am talking about benzaldehyde. Now, in benzaldehyde, as you can see, this particular carbon has got already four bonds which means there is no hydrogen bonded to it. Hence, this aldehyde also has no alpha hydrogen. This comes under the aromatic aldehydes. This would also fall under this category. And thirdly, if I take an example of a compound where I have an aldehyde and there is an absence of an alpha carbon. Now, if there is no alpha carbon, there is no question about having an alpha hydrogen. Since there is no such carbon, where would you attach the hydrogens? So, this is your methanol, also known as form aldehyde. This you know is your benzaldehyde. And this is trialkyl, 2, 2, 2 trialkyl ethanol. Now, if these are the compounds, then they can undergo Cani-Zeros reaction. That was the first condition. The second important condition for this is you require a concentrated NaOH, a strong alkali or KOH is the requirement reagent for this type of reaction. And thirdly, it is a disproportionation Now what do you mean by a disproportionation? It's a heavy word. Disproportionation means the same reactant. You have a single reactant and this reactant will undergo oxidation to give you product 1 and would also undergo reduction to give you product 2 which means you require two moles of the reactant which will on oxidation give you one product on reduction will give you the second product which means in your case your products would be two and reactant would be only one type only you'll be using two moles of it specifically such a reaction is called as a disproportion reaction where a single identity undergoes oxidation as well as reduction to give you two products now i'll be specifying the examples under this category let us take the first simplest example. Example number one is that of formaldehyde. This is your formaldehyde. And if it's written NOH concentrated, which means you should understand that they are talking about the Cani-Zeros reaction. You will have to make a two before it yourself. After this, you require it to undergo oxidation. An aldehyde on oxidation gives you a carboxylic acid, which means you require a carboxylic acid of one carbon. That becomes formic acid and also an aldehyde on reduction. You have to gain, make it gain hydrogens. So on reduction, it will form an alcohol. Alcohol of one carbon would be CH3OH. Now, this product has an error. The error lies here. No, why so? You are using NaOH. Since you are using NaOH, the product formed of the acid would be a sodium salt. Which means this is not the correct product. 
your product writing should be C O O N A to show that there is a sodium salt formed. So your formaldehyde transforms into a sodium salt of formic acid and methanol. Taking example number two, which is for benzaldehyde, C six H five C H O is your benzaldehyde. This time I am taking concentrated NaOH again. This on oxidation would give you C six H five your benzene ring and a C O O. Please don't write the H because you are using a strongly alkali medium, so it would be a, a sodium salt. Along with the reduced product, which will be your benzaldehyde, where benzaldehyde on reduction will give you an alcohol like this. Just to give you the nomenclature, this is not phenol. This is benzyl alcohol. Why do we call it a benzyl alcohol? Whenever you have a benzene ring bonded to a carbon and the carbon has a functional group involved, we use the word benz. So, just to keep such a compound where you have a benzene ring bonded to a carbon and the carbon is involved in the functional group, we call it as the benzyl alcohol. The last example under this category is a trimethyl compound like this. Let me give you the nomenclature for this compound. This has two carbons, one, two. No, it has actually got three carbons in a chain. The three carbons of this chain are the first carbon with a CHO, the second carbon with a C and I'll take this as the third carbon. So my plane, the main chain becomes of three carbons. Hence, I can call it as 2,2-dimethyl propenal. This particular compound also has no alpha hydrogen, the prior requirement for Canizuru's reaction. So, your products formed would be, one is the oxidized product, CH3 three times, a C bonded to it. Now, your aldehyde will transform into carboxylic acid, but in the alkali medium, I am this time going to take concentrated KOH. So, your product here automatically becomes a potassium salt, plus and minus. And along with it, you would get a reduced product, which is going to be aldehyde transforming into an alcohol. Your reduced product can be written as CH3, three times a carbon bonded to it. And your aldehyde transforms into a CH. I'll rewrite it up here. Your product formed in this case is going to be something like this. Your CH3 and then you have a carbon and your aldehyde transforms into an alcohol. So that becomes your compound. Now this particular product, in first case in all of them, the first product formed is by oxidation, while the second product formed is by reduction. Hence it becomes a disproportionation reaction. Commonly the question asked in your examination, they do not mention a 2 here and that is expected out of you. Whereas they would write the concentrated alkali and the concentrated alkali should be a click to understand that this is a Canizuro's reaction. So, I conclude my class for Canizuro's reaction with these three examples. All the best.